Hi there everyone, Zarak Leader on GMA and this is going to be another probably short, probably long video, we don't know, but this is another repair tip that I have for you all. Now, as you guys can see, I'm working on one of the projects, no biggie on there. And uh, what I wanted to show is how do you take the hot glue out of, you know, plastic surfaces? Because it tends to be a bitch that whenever you, you know, the, as I've said, the hot glue, as we know, it's a pretty handy tool when you close things. But when you want to open them up, it turns into a bitch. So my personal way to do it, and it actually somewhat works, is let me go, I'll go ahead and do an example. This is a paper soaked with alcohol, which I'm actually going to put a bit more of alcohol for the hell of it. So that it's well wet. What you gotta do is rub the paper against the hot glued surface. As you guys can see, I cannot remove it with my fingernails at all. But if I soak it with alcohol, yeah, you gotta soak the entire surface with alcohol for a little bit. After we wait for a few secs, because this is gonna, you know, this is gonna take a while actually. Basically what happens is we can more than likely take it out in a much easier way, which is because it loses grip. The alcohol makes the hot glue to lose grip and I'm actually going to use a flathead to do this. See what I mean? Now the hot glue is coming off. Thank goodness the hot glue is coming off. And the deeper it gets into here, the, the more it's going to come off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's pretty much confirmed that most of the times it actually does. Especially if you have those blobs of, of hot glue that are really annoying, it always works. By example, this. This is the part of what the tail fur is supposed to... Um, hold like the uh how's it called the glue is supposed to hold two pieces of fur basically as i've said before you cannot take it out that easy but once you soak it on some alcohol and you give it its time so it actually goes into the glue it's a whole lot easier see it actually works. The hot glue just comes off like that without any problem and without hesitating. It just peels off. In some places where the hot glue isn't that much tense, it, it, it really tends to be a little bit, um, you know, annoying. But after all, it does work and it does actually make the process easier to, you know, remove the entire hot glue parts that are left once you skin the animatronic you want to fix because there's a bunch of animatronics especially the older ones because this is from 2002 this is a toucan from 2002 that was sold at Cracker Barrel apparently and um, if Cracker Barrel existed in 2002 I really don't know but all the fur is glued in a weird ass way because the fur is separated until this part and you have to glue both halves and everything and it turns that into a nightmare it turns into nothing but a nightmare. But peeling the hot glue off makes it a whole lot easier for whenever I have to, you know, put it back on and put, you know, some new uh, some new hot glue on. And as I've said before, it is effective. It actually works, and it's really. I mean, I, I, funny thing is that I know this since like two months ago. Yeah, it's it's that much of a new trick. Even even the baking soda trick that I've that I've mentioned before, I know it's since like it's around like a year ago or so, maybe al almost two years ago. But this one's pretty much a new type of of method that actually turned out to work just fine because there's not really that much of a failing on it. Especially, I would recommend, of course, yeah, I recommend this for pieces that are not painted on. Because usually pieces that are painted, 
the paint will come off and it'll be a mess or if it's a, a, a surface that's supposed to be somewhat shiny it always turns out to have some sort of problem afterwards because by example what the alcohol does is when you put it on a glass and no, not like legit glass but like a window type glass um, like a plastic window it just sometimes it just screws it up and it's not as clear as and as shiny as it used to be so I would personally recommend this for whenever somebody has to go inside an animatronic and after all the fur is peeled or after all of the uh, parts are peeled you want to just take the old hot glue off and add some new one so yeah I'm just taking I'm just taking a little piece of hot glue that was left over in the in the screw hole because there's a screw hole here and I had to take that crap out so yeah I guess that's practically the entire trick they literally come off in layers so if you want to remove hot glue remember to use alcohol it works just fine so yeah everyone um i guess that's practically it for now thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video